Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Reem, uh, for sticking to time. We have a few minutes for any questions or remarks. I will ask you to take turn and I would like to uh, ask the speakers to introduce themselves and to keep their question or their intervention a brief. Um, I'd like to say that we need to, or we have to stop in ha uh, 14, 15 minutes, sorry, because there will be a lunch break. And as I understood, the uh, food the caterer is very uh, 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 keen uh, and uh, one is afraid that the food will become cold and that he will get a bad reputation as a result. Uh, and so, I, I'm sure that none of uh, the people in this uh, room wants uh, to harm the reputation of this good man and and uh, and uh, <laughs> the food that he had prepared. So uh, instead of having to uh, like uh, we want to give you a hot meal basically, and that's why we are saying that. a large number already. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to convince people there are so many now already. We we'll start with Majdi very quickly, please. order not to take too long and the food wouldn't get cold, I want to say very quickly, regardless of the recommendations that are going to come out of this uh, conference regarding uh, the features or recommendations for a national project, a future national project, I think this uh, session was uh, very important because it ga gives some uh, hope, especially what Noor had already uh, talked about. I think the three uh, speakers, I felt that this is the uh, session that I felt where the speakers were complementing each other very well. I think for the last 70 years or the last 50 years, this after the establishment of the uh, PLO and until now we are unable, the, the official or non-governmental uh, institutions, we are unable to organize our uh, uh, cells uh, and what Noor is saying is very important, the NGOs cannot do what the uh, uh, state does and vice versa. Uh, and this idea to, that there's competition or competition over power or competition over representation, this is our biggest uh, challenge and problem that we are facing. And maybe at the international level now, we are uh, be, uh, paying attention to it. Uh, not everywhere. We have many ambassadors and many embassies that understand this and do this uh, 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 mutual relations between civil society organization and the uh, government. I met once with an ambassador when I uh, met him and I said I'm from Amman. He said the Anti-Corruption uh, uh, Commission. Uh, he thought I was from the Anti-Corruption Commission. And then he says uh, uh, um, uh, the civil society organizations, uh, the, the bad ones, uh, and, and, and like, uh, like the notorious, uh, the notorious uh, 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 civil society organization, he told me, because he thought I was from the Anti-Corruption Commission. So he was slamming and slandering the NGOs. And so I remember when we talked about, uh, Amar was uh, present at one time in a discussion regarding the, the, the uh, withholding of the clearance uh, uh, um, uh, tax funds. And I said, let's to work together and do uh, campaigns and to uh, parliaments. And he said, I will take you with me to the AHLC and so on and so forth. After the session, I talked to them. They forgot completely. They don't want to do this type of work together. Uh, <laughs> 
in terms of uh, the uh, uh, different countries, the uh, periphery countries. We have a lot of allies we, uh, outside uh, the U.S. and uh, we are mem a man is member of a huge uh, global movement, but nobody wants to work with you. Nobody wants to make use of these relations. And the, uh, 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 the meeting of the contracting parties to the anti-corruption convention. I tried to talk to the official level. And, uh, please sign uh, the, uh, that when we do the review of uh, Palestine, that it will be done in transparent manner and constitutional civil society organizations. They refuse to sign that uh, 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 statement. The right uh, to access information, the basic things that we can uh, 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 have so that we can promote our with the world and talk uh, with a stronger voice to the world. These things require time. What the Noor said and what His Excellency the Ambassador mentioned, there needs to be a unified uh, uh, discourse abroad regardless of our internal disputes. What is required in terms of the solidarity so that we replace the master and we replace the idea of charity? I think we need uh, to focus on uh, issues. Uh, in the TV, when somebody tells you in an interview, yes, it means that you should uh, cut your uh, comments brief and that you should uh, finish the points that you were trying to bring across. Dr. Majdi talked about this. My question is to Noor, how can we regain the international solidarity at the official and non-governmental level in view of the role of the official parties and their work in Palestinian, that is, in terms of the diplomatic and international channels? For example, we are supporting a CC as an official position, whereas the CC is an oppressor. So the Arab people, how do they they receive this and also the same with other international questions also in terms of BDS uh, in Germany how can we counter such motions or such measures in Germany or elsewhere Mazen Rimawi I'm an MA student in democracy and human rights at the Birzeit University just a very quick uh, a brief uh, comment our problem is not in external aid, nor in international law, or in the fact that our question is marginalized or is away from the international arena. I think our problem is, lies within us. A personal experience in the Israeli uh, jails, when we wanted to gain some of our demands, we would uh, stand and uh, ask the question, uh, the timing of demanding these, uh, uh, making these demands, and the uh, time frame uh, during which we will announce our steps. Our people uh, who are uh, who, uh, uh, can support us, uh, would they uh, show solidarity with us without us doing anything? Uh, uh, nobody asks about us internally. If we decide that we want to do something, I am uh, sure that uh, all democratic countries will support us and all uh, uh, respectable uh, uh, peoples will support us. But if we continue to uh, just say words and no actions, uh, nobody will show solidarity with us. The other uh, experience was the exile to Marge Zuhur area. Uh, 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 that was an experience. There were hundreds of uh, young Palestinians that were exiled in the past, but there was no mobilization. But when Israel uh, sent to the exile 400 uh, Palestinian leaders and active uh, youth in the first intifada at the end of the 1993, when they stood by the borders of the homeland and refused uh, to uh, ac uh, accept it or to, to leave their um, homeland, uh, and, uh, all the countries of the world stood with them, all the international organizations stood with them, the ICRC and others, all the free people of the world uh, showed solidarity for them because they had a decision that they will not leave their homeland and that they want to return. They came back after less than one year, all those who were exiled at the time. If they accepted the uh, expulsion, then they would have been expelled and never returned to Palestine. Uh, we have the international law and there are many professors in international law and we have uh, uh, also international solidarity activists. Many of the peoples are supporting us, but what do we do? We uh, harm ourselves or otherwise, or we try to attract the world for to show more solidarity. This, it's up to us. 
دكتور عبد الجواد صالح عبد الجواد صالح My a question is to Noor. The other day I met with a, a foreigner and I was telling him about Israel's democracy and the racist discrimination and he told me, uh, give me a break, I know that your president is illegitimate, had, uh, his uh, uh, legitimate term has elapsed and I didn't see one Palestinian faction that opposed that, that mentioned something about it. So I had to remain silent. What you say that not to talk to the foreigners, they know more than you think that they do. Uh, and the other question to His Excellency the Ambassador, uh, we hope that we had a leader like Nelson Mandela, we would have solved our problems. The question uh, to Dr. Reem. Do you think that we can convince Canada that they should believe in our right to self-determination as Palestinian people? Do we have a chance to do that? Thank you. Thank you. To Noor, uh, uh, why should we all be to? The others, we are, aren't we like the other people around the world? Is there any people in the world that are similar? We are, come from different colors, or thinking, or ways of, uh, or background. But if uh, what is meant uh, the division, but we are divided between Gaza and West Bank. And if nobody wants this decision, division, then we should have unity. And so we stop talking about the division. If it, it, it is the discussion about social conflicts between men and women and the classes, this exists everywhere. And everybody talks about it. So it might be better for us that we are like other people around the world. We are different from each other. We are not all one. Uh, uh, my question to His uh, uh, Excellency, the, um, ex the Excellency the Ambassador, in view of uh, the experience of salvation from the apartheid regime, was it uh, that was expected in terms of the social justice and the discrepancy and the discrimination among the different groups or not? I know that. Uh, this is what has happened. There's still uh, poverty and there are still social problems. So what is the lesson learned that Palestinians can uh, uh, conclude from the South African experience in terms of social justice specifically? Uh, thank you. Everyone, I want to first to talk about the topic of the civil society and what their role uh, is. Of course, the role is to supplement and complement the work of the government. But as Majdi said, we are members of uh, many national committees as civil society organizations. But when the work that needs to be done uh, uh, as the committees becomes practical, uh, then uh, the uh, government committee replaces the work of, of the national committee. And uh, instead of a national committee that has representatives of NGOs and the government, it is mostly a government. And as they say, this has to do with uh, socialization, but uh, this for us is not uh, logical as civil society organizations. In terms of the Palestinian refugees and the right of return, and we, we uh, start to blame uh, this party or that party, and who is to be blamed, but in fact, there are Syrian refugees and Iraqi refugees, the world is full with refugees and therefore definitely the attention that was focusing on Palestinian refugees all the time, a part of that went uh, or shifted to the Syrian and Iraqi refugees and the international law and international agencies and the UN, we see that there is now privileges for these refugees over the Palestinian refugees as if the Palestinian refugees, their story is over and nobody wants to talk about the Palestinian refugees or their right of return. I know maybe I took longer than... I just have one last uh, comment. In terms of international solidarity, for sure we need international solidarity, not in the form of a charity or humanitarian aid only, but rather international solidarity in 
uh, pressuring the governments uh, uh, by the people of the different countries to uh, pass certain decisions or to support the questions of the Palestinian people. This is the uh, bigger role that we want for solidarity for Palestinians. The Palestinians, uh, uh, the layman uh, Palestinians, they look at Canada, that Canada supports us in a certain field. But in international uh, uh, courts or international community, you are uh, voting against us. Maybe Palestinians are now giving uh, more uh, uh, like to the Canadians, like they continue to accept uh, the uh, uh, aid from uh, Canadians uh, as opposed to the aid from the Americans. But maybe this will shift eventually also. Thank you. Thank you. Democracy is to give the right to everyone to express their opinion. I think that's what it should mean. Ahud, I am a, from a student of uh, human rights and democracy uh, and Birzeit. Uh, two points to Ms. Noor Ode. You started with a question about the negative overall situation. It's true that it's a negative uh, general situation, but as young people, we are uh, absorbing a negativity from this conference from yesterday until this day. We are sensing all this negativity. We want some hope. I wish that we had some examples, some uh, success stories. Uh, our role as young people, what can we do in terms of any change that so that we feel encouraged or that we have more hope and think in a more hopeful manner? And the other point that was very important in terms of the Palestinian media and the local media, where do you uh, believe the responsibility lies? The fact that uh, our people like you and many Palestinian uh, prominent uh, media uh, professionals and journalists, how can we bridge this gap in order to have an international Palestinian true representation of our voice? And how do we uh, build mm -hmm. the true uh, Palestinian narrative that we need for the international solidarity that Dr. Bahdi had talked about? We need to build uh, our uh, narrative, our discourse. How can we do that? so that we can uh, uh, bridge the gaps the, uh, the pr and the problems and address the problems that Dr. Reem had talked about. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I have a, a question, a twofold question to Noor. Regaining a Palestinian presence on the international arena is very important, but I have a question. What is the key message uh, that we are going to use to address the international community? Uh, what is the message and who's the messenger? Uh, secondly, what are we going to give in return? Because uh, the world is a balance of accounts. Uh, if people, we want them to sympathize with uh, us on a question, what do we have to offer to others uh, in terms of solidarity? And I think this is something that is completely absent for the last seven, 70 years. Uh, the, we lost the country from one side and then we got crazy that we want to liberate the country and but we are not ready to give anyone anything. Maybe the liberation of our country requires us to open a new chapter and start asking the question what should we give to the others? And the world is full of disasters and issues and the questions. I think that the, uh, my point in my the inter Palestinian interaction uh, from my observation, uh, that Palestinian interaction is very, very minimal or even absent on many of the issues and concerns and disasters around the world. Thank you.